But the fact that you were on the bench with Golden State how does that it, is there a credibility that you not only that you played and played for the Lakers but now you're bringing something from Golden State and all of these kids saw what Golden State was how does that help in saying listen to me I saw it firsthand I was part of this process um it definitely helps uh the, obviously the Warriors with the success we had up there the last two years um most NBA people were watching and paying attention, and uh, you can't you can't duplicate what they do because they have a set of players that is is pretty darn unique <laughs> up there. Um, but the ideas and the, the 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 style of play that people fell in love with up there, as far as you know, the tempo and the playmaking, and and, and, and honestly, Dan, it, we had you know the staff and Clay and and the guys that would score those big points up there. But really, we played the same way, where it wasn't like Steph was just gunning shots every time down court, and that's all we ran plays for, and Clay the same thing. If they got hot, you better believe we were going to run a play for them or use them as a decoy to get somebody else wide open. But we still played the same style of, Everyone touches the ball. If you're open, you take the shot. And different nights, different people are going to end up scoring more or less. But even when you play that way, the most talented scorers um, normally still should end up with the most amount of field goal attempts and the most points on, on any given night. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.